real nice. Keep looking. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. Can I ask... What's your name? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar. Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I've done falsely accused of crime. <laughs> Get off of me!
come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with your kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken it against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your no touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little <laughs> hole? Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 
She seemed like she saw us. And so did some of the others. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happen to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! Uh, we can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nothing that's gonna help us much. But I found this. It's kinda neat. I don't believe it. I saw this exact keychain in my dream. That's pretty weird. It's more than weird. It's significant. I just... don't know how. Are you okay? I'm fine. Why the concern, John? What's bugging you? We saw Angela's double get tried and condemned for being a witch. Okay, so now what? Uh... We've already tried a few places and come up with nothing. Except enough weird shit to put us in therapy for life. Forget about what's happened so far. Our best shot at finding help is in town. Really? Forget about what's happened? There's some real scary shit going down in the outskirts, and our plan is to stroll into the center of Weirdsville? Just a suggestion, but maybe we should figure out what the fuck is going on here first. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double, feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad.
Daniel, you need to see this. What is it? You've been keeping your career as a guitar player under wraps? What the? How is that even possible? Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor? You keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll, we'll get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. He cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for Holy. us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Lil Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, Lil Hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference in your very face. Isaac.
What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. As the stakes seem to have been elevated, that gun might prove to be a lifesaver, don't you think? Or the precise opposite? Andrew is keeping it quiet. Good move. Look after number one, right? The boys have some interesting theories. Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? You're going it alone, brave, independent, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough.
Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. Wait! What in the name of holy fuck was that? I've never seen anything like it. It was like something from a nightmare. Did you see the way it looked? The gaping mouth, those dead soulless eyes? Whatever it was, it's gone now. I was nearly gone. If that thing had caught me, it was so close. You've had the crap scared out of you. We all have. But at least we got the fuck away from it. You saying I should be grateful? That I owe you for my life? No, chill. I I'm saying it all happened so fast, it's a good thing we all made it. Oh! <sighs> Angela, what's up? What's going on? My legs felt like they were on fire. You okay? <sighs> Must be payback for all the climbing I did. That thing, whatever the fuck it was, is still out there. Could be hunting us as we speak. It was in chains. Just like the woman who went in the water. I don't believe that's coincidence. Either of you see what happened to Taylor and Daniel? They can't be far behind us. Let's just get out of here. <laughs>